So it, it comes with basic uh, new things like personal lines. So making it easy for you to get in and make the device your own, right? Add your widgets, add shortcuts, download new apps, change your screen, your skin, maybe change your ringtone, right? So the ability to surface very quickly to get access to make the device more personalized. In the notification section, it's been redesigned to offer a tab to view. So you'll see recently accessed applications across the top, so you can quickly get back to them. Your standard notifications bar for your Android notifications, those kinds of things. But then quick access to settings like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, or into your all settings for your, you know, for the remainder of the settings on your device. So you can easily manage without having to clutter your home screen with all kinds of widgets or power off, power off, those kinds of things. That's cool. Um, Sense is now designed as a carousel. So before you had seven panels, three left, three to the right with a center. Now you transition back and forth and it just runs on a carousel, complete left and right. So how do you stop it? You can stop, right? Or you can, you know, transition one at a time um, as you go through. And then um, the nice the nice thing about it is uh, uh, you know it's it's just like customizing any other uh, Android app. So you you want know, to move, delete, right? It's your standard Android functionality. Yeah. And then open your app drawer. You have access to you know, the standard applications you would you would believe you would normally have. Added a couple new ones though, like the media share. Right. So the device supports supports two ways to get content off. You have HDMI out through the HDMI port, so you can connect to a regular HDMI enabled device, or it has DLNA, so you can wirelessly connect to a DLNA enabled appliance and wirelessly stream your content to that appliance. Right. So if you want to play your 3D content on your 3D, you know. Enabled TV, you can plug it in, or you can set up Media Share to go ahead and wirelessly stream that to the TV. Uh, has your uh, quick video and things like that. You have your front-facing camera, and then your dual rear-facing camera. So quick is able to access those and do video chat and those kinds of things. You saw me a um, um, a picture that you can take uh, using 3D. Yep. So we'll go back to our home screen, go into our gallery. Let's go ahead and access our 3D photos and videos. And I'll arrow down here. So we'll start off with this, this one. Move into landscape view. Wow. And then you start to really see the depth of you know depth of field in the in the in the image itself. Yeah. Wow. Then we can back up. Can you um, can you take a picture now and then? Uh, Actually, we, we could, but because of the lighting in here, the okay. images you know just don't turn out as well as we'd like. Right. I see. But all of these images that you're seeing here were actually taken with this device. Wow. Yeah, and then you get out into. Actually, we'll keep it in landscape view here. We go back out to some of the content. Uh, so the video side. Of it. So this is actually production created to show. So you can take uh, 3D videos using this phone and we play back in 3D. Absolutely. So you can capture 2D video in 1080p resolution, and you can capture 3D video in 720p resolution. So you're getting high definition out of both, um, 2D and 3D. That's amazing. Are the 3D uh, video files really big? Um, not necessarily. Um, I'm not sure exactly. Uh, they're, they're no different than a, than a video file that you would get normally, a full, a full movie trailer, that kind of, you know, 1080p video is going to be 1080p video. Right. So they're, they're, not, they're not that much bigger right, than what, what you would get out of a normal file today. Um, some user-generated video content. So it takes a 
little bit to kind of get adjusted to the yeah. angle. Yeah. You know? Because if I look at it that way, it's kind of blurry. Right. If I look so at it might be might be the angle of the device, right? Just because I'm maybe I'm holding it a little bit different. Right. Yeah. So, but once you adjust, um, it's kind of like a lazy eye, right? And once you kind of let your eyes adjust to it, yeah. Then in the future, right, you always kind of pop right back into it. Right. Memory of that tablet. Three gigabytes.